How's it going guys? I am Jurassic and welcome back to Amorous. Now, in the last episode, we found out that Jax have to work the whole way because somebody got sick and we cannot do our date at the lovely restaurant with some candle and some wine and maybe some sex in the bathroom. Sorry. <laughs> that was my thought. Don't... No. That was a joke. Okay? That, that was a joke. Don't take it seriously. Okay? Please, I, I don't want to get fired on YouTube. Anyway, so, anyway, so, uh, I said the word so a lot. Okay, we got the choice of leave a message or drop by the club. I'm gonna drop by the club <laughs> because I am, I want to do that. Okay, if we couldn't find the time to do it, then I need to make the time to see him again. My ear scratch you mentioned a meal break and didn't sound thrilled about his food options maybe I should grab something to bring I got myself together and headed towards the door the only question was what to bring between me and the club were futures that were open this late it's burger wolf no. dragon in the house of noodles mm. Mia Mori no favorite curry Mia Mare! I wanna go with Mia Mare! Mia Mare was probably the most expensive option, but nothing in says romantic dinner and lacks some hearty Italian. I picked up the big order of spaghetti and some garlic bread. I figured simple will be best in the light and the lightest of my wallet. That's it, the smell of the meatballs was heaven. I just hope he, he liked extra parmesan. With traffic being almost non-existent, it was easy enough to get to them in the record time. After wrestling with the car to slip into all the only space remaining, I hoofed it to the front door and make my way inside. Oh yeah, we're at the club now! Hey, here's Jax! Jax! Can you see me? Can you see me? I'm gonna dance! Can you see me now? If I dab! Can you see me now? No, 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 no! No, not, not you. No, fuck you. No, not you. Him. Hey, Jax. Anyway, <laughs> the place was packed from Montreal. That's a bunch of lies there. What the? F Look at that. That's a bunch of lies. Anyway, so, so the place was packed from from wall to wall. And I could barely hear anyone of the music in the crowd. It seems the sonority girls, Jax. I mentioned to invite a few more friends. Hover. Thought over through it out night. Oh, hi. Uh, hello. You look like drunk. <laughs> okay, uh, hang on. I gotta make a drunk girl. Okay, uh, uh, I, 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 I'm gonna try the best as I, as I can. If I cannot do it, then I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I do it badly. <laughs> hey, girl, it's fresh me and not a bad looking. What a dad. Woo! Take off your top! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, I went. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> that was a creepy one. Sorry. I split in the place as the girl bounced in front of me, sloshing or drinking around, the flubbing a boo side to side. It, 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 it was pretty clear from her expression that it wasn't her first. Come on, cut it loose. Woo! We all, we all hate the party! You, you, you should cut. Come join us. You just, you, I just know money will be into you. Woo! I tried to burn out the shiny over the noise as she, I, I, as she began to talk on my uh, heart and yank me in the direction of their booth. I desperately look around for Jax or anyone else I recognize as she pulled me to a table scattered with shot glasses. Shot! Shot! As I was about to that one just to get them to let go, one of the abundantness from last night tapped me on the shoulder. He gave me a wink and nudged me back as he lay out a whole new array of beverage from the enthusiastic crowd. They seemed to forget about me for the moment and snack it to each other in their alcohol food salad for off a tray. Oh, what, what? What? Okay. There's a glitch there. There's a gl 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 glitchy glitch. There's a gl Okay, uh, uh, sir, uh, Mr. Hori Siru, uh, there's some people on your shoulder, you know, on your, uh, right here. Yeah, you got a guy sitting in your face, and maybe another guy 
uh, drink in the drink that you're in the glass that you're currently uh, washing. Just let you know, you know. Sorry about that. They've been getting a little rowdy. Follow me. And the two months made our way through the club and back to the main bar. He lift a small separator and it unshared me past it and through the swing chicken door. Kitchen door! Chicken door! Wow! Chicken door! What's a chicken door? Anyway, so what it was a big dark back there, it, it was also much quieter. Okay, in the montage, it not it would not it would it would be quieter. But right now, I'm not hearing something quiet right now. Anyway, so that's there. Now I don't have to shout. <laughs> you get right. Our Jax has been uh, complaining about having to work tomorrow since the start of his shift. He told us he might be dropping by. This is like it's pretty fun for you. He gave me a bit of an elbow nudge as I stammered back to him. I didn't expect his coworker to be so aware of the uh, of his dating life. I just tried to smile and not feel too awkward about someone knowing more about me than I did about them. Yeah, well, we hit off pretty well. I'm good to see him dating again. I've been trying to bury himself into work for so long. Heck, his luck that the one day he asked off this he asked off this week is when Mitch gets sick. He led me back to an empty prep table in the back of the of, of the kitchen. A couple of abuse bars to serve as chairs. He motioned to one and smile. I let him know you're back there. After I got settled, he stayed back out into the club. My head was spinning. In five minutes, I learned more about Jack's past than I had over the whole first, over our whole first date. Sorry. Still, his initial reaction to me outside the bar made a little more sense, though I still didn't know what had actually happened. I started unpacking a, a, what I brought, grabbing a few dishes from the clean in stack near the dishwasher and setting them up on the table. I just poured a each glass of water when Jack walks in. It had clearly been a long night for Jack and his chipper attitude. It was whining and his stomach was audibly rumbling. Now, it made me wonder if he had a chance to grab something to eat since this morning. I hate to be blunt, but I'm starving. Do you mind if we just jump in? Not, not at all. Unable to let my fool divide Jack's wolfy sound asking about his day, how he was doing now, and the two of us exchanged pleasantry as we ate. I still couldn't put what the other bartender is I said out of my head. Nor the awkwardness of him knowing my name without knowing his. Jack must have sensed it. As he, style, uh, as he sat down, his full smile. Much better. Sorry. Nobody if I uh, don't get something to eat, I tend to collapse around the, this point. Spaghetti? Or did you have an interior motives? Sneaking kisses across the table or something? <clears throat> well, if that was my intention, I wouldn't have gotten the, the garlic bread. True enough. In a way, it's better than we eat mac and cheese for the third night in a row. Thanks. Oh. Jax, anything for you? Anything for you, Jax, Zax? My sweet love. Anyway, so sitting across the table, my mind wandered back to what the other bartender said. It seems clear that Chex was at least interested in me. So why was he so quiet when we first met? I didn't want to pry, but I had to know. Jax, I need to ask you something. It's been bothering me for a while now. What's that? I'm gonna leave now. Uh, um, what did I do? Yesterday you were a different person at the start. Cried reserve, unsure. Here's though you were a showman. You could work your mission you, you, that you hadn't been dating in a while. I just... <sighs> well, if I point out a subject, I'm gonna be direct with him. Be direct. What happened? It's not important. Well, it is important, but it's not a big deal. I want to make sure I, uh, I'm not getting the worst signal. I like you, Jax. It's a little painful still. Hard to talk about even with my friends. Oh. What happened? 
I figured, but I like the you I got to know when we first met. And the you that I was with after the movie. I don't know, you wanted to banish on me. You wanted the second guy I, I've dated. Most of the time, I've been with women. Oh! So you're bisexual. Oh, okay, okay, he's bisexual, that's good. It's always been casual and we've been friends afterwards, but... The first guy uh, I was with, I met back in college. He, he, he shifted a little in his seat, his scale fading a, a, of a dude who was clear and he, he was getting a little uncomfortable. He was a dream guy. Very ambitious, he got straight as in all his classes, involved in nearly every activity on campus and he went up to start with Matt, we got to know each other and then one night he leans over and kisses me full on, full on the lips. He blushes and looked down to, toward the table. And shutting his eyes for a moment, he took a slow breath and continued. It wasn't really a, ah I'm gay moment, but it was intoxicating. It was like being new to the whole thing again. We were tight throughout our last two years of school. He always take me out to a fancy place, buy me stuff. It was fun in a sort of materialistic way. We all like it when someone took care of us. I know there's a day I look at my bills and I wish I had a sugar daddy. <clears throat> ah, Jack just smiled! Oh, I love his smile! I love his smile! I, I, I love your smile, Jax. I love your smile. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got a cute smile, Jax! You're beautiful! Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I've been working odd jobs to help pay two tuition and other costs. I mostly went in jobs at restaurants since Tip couldn't give me an extra cash. I needed for my day-to-day -day stuff. After a while, I found her... I found I really liked it. The showmanship, the, the performing in front of, of, of an audience, you know, like do love it. I've never seen everyone, anyone so enthusiastic about making drinks and getting to know people. He beat them near across the table. He stands standing across it towards mine. Oh. He stopped short and looked back down at his plate. His smile vanished. He didn't though. He said it was a waste of time. That I'd never make any money. That the that we or go anywhere important. That's when a fight started. I broke it off and we went our separate way. The highway went to girls and he... Last I heard, it was in half in New York, somewhere with, with, with a law friend of her investment back on something. I don't get it. What does have that have to do with dating guys? He shrugged a little, lowering his gun on the, on the table. He was my first, and I guess I just assumed most guys were going to be like him. Working in the bar, I saw how most guys approach women, and I figured, and I figured that was the norm. So I just dove into what I love. I get, I get to flirt here and there, and maybe have dinner with an attractive woman, and not get judged of doing what I want to with my life. Jax, I'm not sure. Jax, I'm not going to judge you. <laughs> it's part of the reason I ask you out, and it won't full of people trying to be seen. You stood out the most to me. You sweet talker, you. Oh. Oh, that was cute. That was cute. That was cute. So seriously, that was cute. Anyway, so I'm not your ex, and I'm certainly not someone who only wants to get into your skimpy and very flattering brief. I call you because I want to get to know you, and beyond your ability to mix, drink, and flirt. Believe me, I know. And for one thing, he, he never meets you, he visit me at work. What a douche. For another, he, he never in, instigate anything he didn't he already want to, to do. We sat in chat for a short while. I passed another one about, about a present. Unfortunately, it, it wasn't long before the kitchen, the swung open once more. Jack's co-worker uh, sh shuffled in and looking quite haggard. Jack's the girls out here are about to start a bar, bro, if you don't g g g g come back out. And they say you're the only one who knows how to slice a mango with a sexy. 
the both of us snickered before turning back to each other. Give me a second to clean up. I tell them I'm grabbing all the bananas they could want. The bartender nodded and smiled in relief before heading back out the main room. The two of us took the time to clean up and chat a little bit more. Once we finished with the dishes, Jack turned to me with a resigning smile. Well, it seems my public awake, and I started to cut the date so short. With the downside of being you know, working sh stiff these days, it's alright. Not like the ample free time or unemployment is doing me much good. I'm glad we got some time together. It's flattering, really. Considering considering how in the menu seems to be. Wouldn't have it in any other way. I'm a total intention whore. I couldn't help but chuckle. It wasn't. Uh, it was confident. Well, I almost burped. <laughs> it was confronting the same confident, sharp dressed guy who served me my first drink again. He always looked the best as his bluest. I expect a third date, you know? Maybe a third and a half date, considering this one wasn't really as much fun as our first date. I'll try to make it a little more interesting than the back of the chicken you can kitchen at your work. Next time, I'll bring muffin in fireworks. <laughs> Just know that's setting the bar pretty high. He winked at me and, uh, and took a step back uh, uh, as if to leave. I could feel the pull, the attraction for a moment that lingering between us. I like there was more to say or do. Maybe it was just me wanting to more, more time with him. <laughs> Last time I gave him a peck on his cheek, it became red. Now, if I kiss him on the lips, it's gonna become black. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, stop it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kiss him. Before you could walk away, I placed a hand gently on his shoulder. Once he turned, I leaned in close and pressed my lips firmly against his. He immediately melted into the kisses. Into the kiss, sorry. His eyes fluttered and just shut as he pressed his body close to mine. Oh my god. The two of us held that moment for as long as we could. Tom touching as our hand clutch on each other tight. Tightly, big tangly, I pulled away and struck his chief softly. You can't expect better than that on our next date. Wow, I didn't think I could look forward to it more than I already did. He coughed lightly and adjusted himself. His skimpy brief now a little tighter than usual around his sensitive area. He kisses me gently on the cheek and strode back into into the club. Good night, handsome. Standing there, pants quite awkwardly tied, uh, <laughs> and in the darkened kitchen, I feel more comfortable and confident than I had in the well. I duck tuck the back door to afford the crowd and, and made my way uh, back to the car. Oh my god! Wow! Now I knew the feeling was mutual and the third date was going to be something monumental. Monumental. At least that's what my that was my intention. Now I just have to deal with Kobe begging me for more details. It was it was kind of fun being some the one with something talked about instead of him. And the story of a kiss is like that one had to, to be shared. We did it! Oh my god! Oh wow! Oh wow! Oh wow! What a- Oh my god! What a date! Oh my god! That was an amazing date! That was actually cute and romantic! That was great! Jax! You're the man, Jax! Ah, oh. You cute, you sweet! You're a great guy! So anyway, guy. <laughs> So anyway, this is Amores, and if you want to play this game, there will be a link in the description below of the uncensored oh, of the censored version because I'm playing the uncensored version right now with booze and and, and and penis and butt cracks and and buttholes and stuff. So thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, click punch into a high by the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.